It's more than three dozen burglaries, more than $300,000 in stolen property. Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies say it's all linked to one calculating and organized group of thieves. Some thefts are caught on camera. They've already made some arrests, but the crimes continue. News 12's John Bachman is live to show you why some of the crooks are old pros. It's a story you'll see only on News 12. John? Well, Kurt, sometimes it's not just people who are victims. Businesses like this one shut down because someone tried to drive a truck right through the front door here to steal the ATM. Well, cops say the crooks are much better known for cracking safes, but now they are targeting ATMs. Muhammad Baniam's stopping by convenience store on Haver Hill Road is boarded up, but at least he's still in business. My neighbors, the next door, he got a big sound. Then he came outside and said that and he called over 911. Someone drove a truck right through his front door, but it got stuck and the crooks took off running before they could steal anything, including the target, an ATM. The ATM is right inside. Guys, get out, go in, crowbar, sledgehammer, remove it, boom. Palm Beach County Sheriff's Detective Mike Antonora says break-ins like the one at this gas station, Muhammad's store, and a Walgreens in Palm Beach Gardens are all connected, just like this burglary at the Renegades nightclub. Detectives think they were all done by some of the same people who broke into about 150 safes back in the 90s. One of the guys actually told us that, you know, the safe jobs were getting too hard. Why do safe when we could do ATMs where there's less probability of getting caught? Some of them have been caught. Eight suspects arrested, including Ralph Lawson, part of the original group known as the Safe Boys. Randy Salazar, known violent gang member, and Vincent Ronaldo, among others. And deputies say they are still looking for Sean Tweedy and Christopher Hoover, wanted for at least five smash-and-grab burglaries each. Mohammed Bynum's hopes the arrest will lead to the guys who broke into his business. I never believed that this happening, but this is the first time I saw my own eyes. Well, this is that list of cases that detectives all think are connected to these safe boys now targeting ATM machines. It's two pages long. If you have any information that can help detectives, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at number 1-800-458-TIPS. We're live near West Palm Beach. John Bachman, WPEC News 12.